TFNN. Headline News Update. Well, okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN. I'm having all kinds of difficulties, as you probably heard. Uh, my Internet uh, has, uh, I'm in a time, sh- very luxurious timeshare here in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, given to me by one of our friends here at TFNN. The problem is the Internet was from 1810, and, I mean, it is really, really bad. I'll be moving out today, I hopefully be on the show regularly tomorrow and also Friday. But I wanted to share this chart came from Rich Anderson. It's from QCharts. It basically shows the market over the last uh, couple of years. And I, there's the two arrows here. The first one was high in August. You can see here, um, this is the uh, S&P uh, futures. Okay, now you see those little boxes here where those arrows are. Those are pattern completion patterns. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to show it to you on a long-term weekly basis. God willing, and uh, usually she is, but let's just get it up here on the long-term weekly, and you'll be able to see where we are. And here's where we are right now. I'm, I'm doing the futures. The cash is doing the same thing. I want to do both of them for you, but you can see here the number we were looking at on the weekly. This is a weekly chart going back over the last 18 months. It uh, takes us up to uh, 49.30. We're at 49.33 right now. So that one is going a little bit higher. But if we take a look and just take a quick look at the cash, uh, everybody, I mean, I, I haven't seen this much bullishness in a long time. The other thing, folks, Tom Keen at Bloomberg, one of my favorite people, he's so good, down to earth, just like Mark Keynes was. Well, he got fired today, folks. Well, he didn't get fired, but they downloaded him to a uh, one-hour-per-week radio show on Bloomberg, one-hour-per-week and he had run that three-hour thing for so many over, oh, my gosh, so many years. I I can't even remember how many years it's been. Let me get up here and show you this S&P chart because it's uh, this is the long-term weekly in the S&P. And it is exactly uh, where we should be right now on the weekly. Of course, I don't trade weekly, folks. We tried to short this thing on Sunday. It worked. We got out at break even. And that's basically what we're looking at. But here's where we are right now. I'm just going to draw this pattern in for all you ABCD folks because this is the day. uh, What was the name of that song with uh, Don Don McLean? Okay, we'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. 